Prince Adolphus, Duke of Cambridge, was the youngest son of King George III and Queen Charlotte to live to adulthood. He was born on the 24th of February, 1774. Like his brothers, he was educated by tutors until he was sent away to the University of Göttingen at the age of 12. He became a Knight of the Garter in 1786 and was created Duke of Cambridge, Earl of Tipperary and Baron Culloden in 1801. Adolphus started his military training in 1791 and studied under the Hanoverian commander Field Marshal von Freytag. He participated in the Flanders campaign in which he was wounded and captured but eventually rescued. He was promoted to Lieutenant General in the Hanoverian army and participated in the war of the Second Coalition against France. In 1803, he was appointed as Commander-in-Chief of the newly formed King's German Legion. In 1813, he was made a Field Marshal. In 1816, Adolphus was appointed Governor-General of the Kingdom of Hanover. In 1831, his title was changed to Viceroy. He was a capable and efficient ruler of Hanover and remained in the position until his brother Ernest became King of Hanover in 1837. In 1817, following the death of his niece, Princess Charlotte of Wales, Adolphus went in search of a wife to provide an heir. He fell in love with Princess Augusta of Hesse Castle, and they were wed on the 7th of May, 1818, and again at the Queen's House or Buckingham Palace. She was only 20 while he was 44. Despite the age difference, they had a happy marriage. They lived in Hanover from 1818 until 1837 and upon their return to England, they lived at Cambridge House and later at St. James's Palace. They had three children together, George born in 1819, Augusta born in 1822 and Mary Adelaide born in 1833. It is through their youngest child that they are ancestors of King Charles III. On the 8th of July 1850, Adolphus passed away. He was buried in the Cambridge Mausoleum. Augustus survived him by 39 years, passing away at the age of 91 in 1889. Their remains were removed from the mausoleum and interred in the royal vault in St George's Chapel, at the request of their granddaughter, Queen Mary.